The families of the 143 mentally disabled patients who died under this woman's watch burst into song when she entered the room. The song demands answers. Kadani Mashlangu was the top provincial health official when more than a thousand patients from a facility called Life Esidimeni were moved into unregistered care facilities because she thought they needed to be reintegrated into society and to save money. Many of the care centres were ill-equipped. Despite other witnesses' testimony to the contrary, she insists she was never warned lives were at risk. I want to apologise for the loss of life during the implementation of the project, I know that one life loss is too many, and I know that those lives, we cannot bring them together. But for what it's worth, I sincerely apologize. The apology was hard to hear for Christine Numalu. The health authorities didn't say where they'd moved her sister to, and after a month of searching, by the time she did find her, it was far too late. You know, it looked like she had died a long time ago. Her, her Literally, her skin was very dark, and there was almost no skin. It was mostly bone. So for me, the impression that I got is that she had been in the eye, on the eyes for, for quite some time. The causes of death of many of the victims point to neglect, malnutrition, pneumonia, and dehydration. South Africans have been shocked by this case. It involves some of the country's most vulnerable citizens who were at the mercy of a government that failed them. They want answers and justice. Police are investigating and provincial government promises the tragedy will not be repeated. In a number of areas, the protocols were not uh, properly followed and that uh, policies were also not followed. So we are doing everything to ensure that now we follow all the policies and protocols. The families say they won't rest until those responsible are sent to jail. That the deaths of 143 people demands nothing less. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.